Hi, I'm Bridget. It's Monday, December 17th. You're watching TV Squad Daily. I feel so much better. Partly due to that oh the huge manatee on Friday. Freaking awesome. How did I not know that was in the world? Thank you. It's day 43 of the writer's strike. And it's been confirmed now. Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien are officially coming back January 2nd with new episodes regardless of what's going on with the writer's strike. They're going to do it as non-controversially as possible. There will be no writers writing the jokes for them. David Letterman, on the other hand, might be returning with writers. Now the news says that the union representing striking writers said over the weekend they were willing to negotiate deals with individual production companies, including Letterman's Worldwide Pants. Really? That's not how a strike usually works. I'm surprised that part of the story isn't getting more attention as that seems like a pretty big precedent to set. Oh, the holidays. Bringing people together. Giving guilty celebrities the opportunity to appear charitable, meanwhile making everyone else feel bad for calling them out on sucking. Dwayne the Dog Chapman was passing out toys to needy children this weekend at a holiday toy giveaway sponsored by a black advocacy group. Dwayne, of course, is the same guy who used a racial slur repetitively when telling his son to break up with his girlfriend in a conversation that was recorded and made public. But now he's passing out toys to kids and, oh, also passing out signed copies of his book, You Can Run But You Can't Hide. See, now if I say anything bad about him, it makes me sound like the jerk. Nicely played, Dwayne. Oh, the holidays. People be getting short on cash trying to think of something that happened to them years ago they might still be able to sue for to get some money. Some lady, she has a name, Donna Tillman is suing Price is Right because a car that she won on the show in 2004 that was supposedly a new car, she said was not actually a new car, she said it had previously been in a wreck. She says she found this out in 2005 when she took the car in for service and the repair shop told her that it had been in a wreck but had been repaired to look like it had not been in a wreck. Tillman is suing for breach of contract and negligence which she says adds up to over $25,000 plus attorney's fees. The car dealership that dropped off the car says that it was new when they gave it to her and they don't know what she's talking about. I would feel really sorry for her, except... Why on earth would you wait like years to bring this up because now no one can tell if you're lying? Which makes us think you are lying. Oh, the huge manatee. I don't care that I'm late to hopping on that train, okay? I still want to ride it. And I will see you tomorrow back here on TVSquad.com.